What's good, everybody? It's the one with the punch tonight game. Come back to the game. And yes, you see it right. Street Fighter 6 is coming back to the channel. Much love to the uh, new subscribers. Returning subscribers got to flex on real quick. And a big shout out to my big bro, X Men Gaming. Watching his gameplays and streams on this game. Right got me back interested in playing Street Fighter 6. This is older gameplay that I haven't used. So, let's do it. I believe I 3 and owed this Ken, modern player, of course. It was better than a modern controlled Ken. Like, like the strongest shit in the game. Just spamming shit. Not even know what you're doing. Mm -mm -mm. But this was like back in when I was really starting to get into playing Street Fighter 6. So you'll see that. Mostly I will be playing against Ken's so you won't be seeing Rashid's or Aki's or nothing like that. I think I faced like three Ken's and one Jiri in this gameplay. Whoa. Yeah. Oof. Man. These modern players, modern control players are annoying as hell. Especially when they only have to press two buttons just to like do a super move and then a lot of the times they're just spamming either going out of control, spamming, <laughs> and burning themselves out using overdrive and drive rush. I'm like, bro, I cut off my combos a lot because I'm trying to gauge what he's going to do next so I don't get caught because it's easy to get caught in a combo with Jamie. And what I mean by that, each combo can be interrupted. Because if I'm doing, like, I go from doing the double with him and then going to his break dance, I can be kicked out of it. As I'm coming up out of that, I can be jabbed out of it. I can be dragon punched out of it. Or hadoukened out of it. Or if I'm playing against an Aki, she can just do that weird crawling shit she does out of it. So there's a lot of things I can counter Jamie, unfortunately. And throughout my playtime with him, since, you know, off and on, I've noticed he's mm, middle road character. Uh, they will say he's bottom, like, you know, lower tier. Because there's just so much that can counter his abilities. And, like, since he's not a projectile user, you really got to be good with, like, knowing how to get in and out because he's more of a I would say up close and personal type of character and the characters that I be playing against mainly like projectile users and like Cammy and Cammy's like a hybrid she's an in and out character and she's also like got some decent grappling moves so you really gotta be precise when you fight against a Cammy because They'll jab, 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 spiral out of your ass out of the game. So with, with me playing Jamie, I gotta be able to read their movements like I am this guy. Because yeah. he loves to burn himself out for some reason. And like that's kind of like the shit I was experiencing last night. Because I haven't played this game in what, I don't know how long. But I tend to come back to it. But it just reminds me of the shit I had to deal with last night. Like, I, the first, first casual match I had was fucking Ken. And it was like around 20, 12, 25 a.m. I don't mind, bro. It's so late in the morning. And I had to deal with a fucking Ken of all people I had to play against. Like, I fought against three Kens, one Jamie, and an Aki. Aki was spammy as fuck because they kept just using modern player too and they kept doing that little acid bubble shit or whatever the fuck it is and that shit was so annoying I just left the match I'm like bro you're clearly only using this character to be annoying and plus you're a modern control so it's even easier for you to do shit and not really know what you're doing I don't know how I fell for that but it's okay I will pick it up in the next round. And moving forward, I will cook this guy. Don't you worry about that. 
but now I'm coming back to Street Fighter 6 after such a good amount of time from not playing it because yeah, it's ironic and that was stupid right here I constantly go for drinks when I don't really need to when I'm already at level 4 but that is something that I definitely watching this, this gameplay and it will improve on and not drink when I don't need to and not just you know parry when it's clearly not necessary just a lot of this movement and shit I'm doing right here I'll you know take an advisement not to do because I won't all the time fight scrubs like this guy it would just be more jab 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 spiral jab 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 if I'm fighting against a Zangief grab me you know cannonball grab until death basically cause man the fact that they have nerf fucking Zangief yet is insane I hate that they the only I think they're on the you know do a patch once a year like nigga who the fuck wants to wait a whole year playing jab 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 whatever whatever comes after that after a whole year of having to deal with it a lot of people left like me like I'm like bro I'm not trying to deal with niggas just jabbing in order just to get in it's like that shit is annoying it's like I'm not the biggest fighting game person, you know. I don't watch, you know, professional gameplay or nothing like that. Cause the, 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 the fighting game talk they be using, I'm just playing like, bro. I'm gonna put you on mute so I can just watch the gameplay. I'm not trying to hear that shit. Oh, that's negative on block. This and that. I'm like, bro, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So I'm just mute this shit and watch the gameplay. Come on, bro. You didn't actually think that was gonna work, did you? But then again, he is spamming a whole lot, so I guess it's to be expected. But whatever. These types of players are to be anticipated, but this is how you actually use a special. Just too slow. Get cooked. Gotta show this boy how to really play Street Fighter. And I just throw shit out there. I'm like, bro, you already use a lot of controls. You should have more patience than that, but whatever. You know, once you got easy mode turned on, you really don't have to think. You just do shit. But, whatever. That's just my irritation when it comes to seeing that M above the character's name. I'm just like, nah, nigga. You gotta get this perfect real quick. Stay your ass in that corner and get this perfect. Oof, 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 oof. These damn Kens, man. I'm so tired of turning this game on the first person I see. It's goddamn Ken. Like, I would like to run into a, well, not really, but like to run into a JP because you already know. He can keep you at a distance the whole fucking game if he wants to. If he's decent enough, he can do that. But, hope you guys enjoy this little rinse of a jury player. I will get in back into Street Fighter 6 over time and play with Jerry as well. Even though they nerfed her severely, like what she could really do. Because in Street Fighter 4 and 5, man, she was a demon. Here, you really gotta use your drive rush and impact in order to close distance and like punish people. Because she doesn't have that much as far as a combo set. To be honest, yeah, it's very disappointing because I used to main jury a lot back in the day, but oh well. It is what it is, but I hope you guys enjoy this commentary video of me playing Street Fighter 6. I know it's been a long while since I posted one of these videos, but you know, I like to switch it up on the channel. This is how you use a special, baby. Get him, Jamie. Get him. Just too slow. Take that chin with ya. Alright, I'm out this bitch. Much love y'all.